kids, today is Thursday, December 7th. I'm Juliana Colina, and welcome to At UH News. If you haven't heard, UH is working to expand campus parking. Here's Cook TV's Braylon Jones to tell you more. Hello, Cougs. Braylon Jones here reporting for At UH News. Early last month, the university released an update on parking. The update included plans to build two new parking garages, a new surface lot, and a parking guidance system. Garage 5, which is scheduled to open in July of 2019, will be the first new garage completed. It will be located in the architecture and law buildings and is estimated to bring an additional 2,400 spaces. Garage 6 is scheduled to open in July of 2020 and will be located between the East Garage and the Campus Recreation and Wellness Center. The garage is still being designed, however, it is estimated to bring at least an additional 2,000 spaces. In addition to constructing new garages, the university is working on installing parking guidance systems in all current garages. The system will have lights installed above all spaces with green lights indicating open spaces and red indicating occupied. With easy identification, drivers will no longer need to spend lots of time going from row to row checking for spots. In case you don't want to wait for the new garages, I'm currently standing in front of the McGregor lot, which will soon be a new surface parking lot scheduled to open in May of 2019. The McGregor lot will be located off of Martin Luther King Boulevard across from Bayou Oaks. It's estimated to add an additional 1,300 spaces to campus parking. We spoke to some students about their thoughts on the projects. So how do you feel about parking currently? Um, I find it to be really annoying, especially because this is such a commuter school. I think that a lot of times students end up missing some of their classes because they're circling parking lots because we don't have enough space. Unless you spend a lot of money for a garage parking, it's impossible. I had the economy lot last semester, and you'd have to come about an hour or two hours earlier to just to find a spot. Do you think the addition of uh, two new parking garages and an additional surface lot will improve parking here on campus? Yeah, I think so, especially since currently there's only like, what, like two student parking garages and like a few lots. So I think that would definitely help the parking center. Definitely more people can park and we need to keep expanding because our population here as a student population is growing. So I think it'll help out a lot. For more news updates, go to kooktv.com or like us on Facebook. Be sure to leave a comment down below and tell us what you think about the new parking projects. With Kook TV. I'm Branlyn Jones, your school, your story, at UH. Thanks, Branlyn. On Monday, the university announced that UH Graduate College of Social Work received a $5 million grant from Gilead Sciences to launch a new center to address the HIV and AIDS epidemic along the Gulf Coast. Now that finals are over and you may have some time to relax and make plans, let's check in with Eric Ilbig with the weather. What's going on, Cougars? My name is Eric Ilbig, your UH meteorologist. Let's go ahead and have a look at your seven day forecast. This weekend calls for a 100% chance of sunshine. With highs in the mid 60s and lows in the low 40s, these three days will be spectacular. So definitely take a break from studying and get outside to absorb that vitamin D. Heading into the week, there's not much change in your weather as the temperatures remain consistent. Rain chances do go up by a little, but not enough to get that umbrella out. I hope you all have a tremendous rest of your semester. Good luck on any finals or presentations you may have. Happy holidays, and I'll be here keeping my eyes up on the skies. Back to you, Juliana. Stress-free finals week has ended today. This week, there was a series of events to help students de-stress and prepare for those final exams. On Monday, finals mania took place at MD Anderson Library. Students were served pancakes, sausage, and a variety of other snacks, all free with their UH ID. Following finals mania from Tuesday until today, December 7th, was pause and relax at the MD Anderson Library. Students were given an opportunity to play with puppies and feed them snacks because what can help students relax more than playing with puppies? So if you didn't get a chance to participate, don't worry, you can always attend next semester. Today was also the last day for Let's Talk, an opportunity for quick counseling and therapy sessions as for students who just want to talk to someone during this hectic finals week. 
To finish off the semester and celebrate the holidays, starting next week will be holiday themed performances. On Friday, December 15th, the Tommy Emanuel Classics and Christmas Tour at Cullen Performance Hall begins at 7.30, so make sure you check it out and get your tickets before they sell out. Also on Tuesday, December 19th, Home Free A Country Christmas will be at Cullen Performance Hall at 8 p.m. This is an instrument-free show. All music will be performed a cappella, so if you're interested in celebrating the holidays with some musical performances, make sure to check those out. Lastly, from all of Coog TV, we would like to wish you happy holidays, and we hope to see you in the spring semester. For more news, you can follow us at Coog TV on Facebook and YouTube. This will be our final newscast this semester, but we'll be picking back up with more newscasts every Thursday in the spring. This has been Juliana Colina for Coog TV, your school, your story at UH.